Yep, yep, yep. Bills, bills, bills. Oh, man. You've got mail. Oh. Oh, mail. Okay, all right. Thank you. You've got mail. Okay, I heard you. Thank you. You've got mail. What is this, 1995? You've got mail. Hey, I got mail. Hey, you win. You win. Hey, oh, well. This is truly the biggest beard oil unboxing I've ever had on this channel. Shoot, this could be the biggest beard oil unboxing ever. And as you can see, on who it's from. Beard Gents. Beard Gents actually uh, uh, ran a, a cool contest, a commercial style contest on who could do the, the, the most cinematic styling, awesome of uh, a commercial, and uh, I, I joined in. So being that said, I won. But the prize was his full line of beard oil products, including the most anticipated scent on his roster, Mr. T. To be honest, I haven't been this excited to open a box in a long, long time. If you guys haven't heard of Beard Gents or haven't experienced Beard Gents, I urge you, my bearded brothers across the world, this company is a must experience. Beard Gents is known to use premium grade everything. So what you're getting in an oil, balm, or butter, you know it's gonna be top-notch, high-quality stuff. Mm -hmm. Now we are going to open the biggest beard oil unboxing I've ever done. Oh, oh my goodness, dude. Let's do that in slow-mo for you guys. My goodness, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight, eight beard oils right here, man. My goodness. We have the unscented, the grand, it looks like the grandy, if I'm saying it right, Don Citrus, which I'm always curious about. Uh, Sir Woodsy, Night Pirate, Mr. Cool. I love Mr. Cool and his butters are amazing. El Caballero, which is one of his top sellers. And as well as the most anticipated one, the newest one, Mr. T. So we're gonna go down the line, my beard brothers, on this awesome scent profile from Beard Gents. I'm gonna start off with their unscented. For an unscented product, I have a little bit of a scent. I wanna see how natural it smells. Here's their unscented beard oil. Uh, beautiful yellow coloration. Uh, looks like a, an oil resistant labeling which I love. Clear and straight to the point with the information on their bottle to let you know exactly what's in their uh, uh, bottle and what they're working with. They're working with uh, Moroccan argan oil, sweet almond, jojoba oil, and as well as vitamin E. Mm. Definitely 100% unscented. I don't smell anything. On to their uh, Grandy. This is their peppermint and tea tree. This is a scent I haven't uh, uh, smelled just yet. I'm very interested on other scents that I haven't smelled from him because a lot of the scents that I have smelled from this company is the bomb. Did you just say the bomb? No, I know, I know, but old 90s word. From what I hear, each oil that he does come out with, he puts different carry oils. So he doesn't have the same carry oils in each bottle, which is awesome. It keeps you thinking, it keeps the, just, keeps the beard guessing. You don't want to put the same stuff in the beard because it gets acclimated to it and it's just, it just doesn't respond the same. Oh, that smells great. It's an absolute perfect balance of a little like peppermint and tea tree. Um, when you first smell it, you, you, you smell the peppermint, but you smell like that, that the background of the tea tree. Mm -hmm. Extremely well balanced, because those are two scents that, that I think that if you put too much of any of them, it could, it could outpower a, a different scent, and it'll be very unbalanced. But uh, this company, Beard of Gents, figured out a way and crafted a way on how to balance the scent perfectly. The Don Citrus. This one I've been eyeing for a long, long time. I'm actually excited, excited to uh, smell this one. And again, like I said, each beard oil he comes out with has different ingredients in there, as you can see right here. 
This one has jojoba sweet almond, and this one has jojoba and Moroccan oil. Let me smell it. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Beer gents, please come out with a butter for this scent. Please. I knew I was absolutely gonna love this scent. I just had a feeling. This is a scent of orange and bergamot. Uh, when you first smell it, you smell the orange, then you have that, that again, the background of that bergamot. Perfectly balanced, man. You just, you get a company that balances great scents like this perfectly. It's so enjoyable to put it in the beard and it's just so enjoyable to smell throughout the day in your beard. Now onto their Sir Woodsy scent that I was eyeing before when I first uh, saw this company. It's a uh, scent of sandalwood, which I love, and grapefruit. I'm not the biggest fan of grapefruit as far as eating it, but there's many different scents out there I don't like, but when it's mixed well by the company, it's extremely enjoyable. When you shake it, smell it, smell it. Ah, oh, wow, that's a nice warm scent. Like, nice, it's like a nice subtle scent. It's not, it's not super powerful, it's not super heavy. You do smell the sandalwood, obviously, and the grapefruit. Um, but I said I feel like I smell more of the sandalwood, which I love. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of grapefruit, but you get a good, great balance between the two sandalwood as well as the grapefruit. Now this one is I have. Um, I really like the scent. This is more of like a, a, a nighttime scent, hence the name Night Pirate. With this bottle of oil, like I said, it keeps it guessing. Uh, he's working with hemp seed, hemp seed oil as well as jojoba oil. I love the bottle because it's actually a different color. Here's like, it's like a purplish bluish color and it like fades, like it fades from light to dark. So it's like, it looks like, I think he's trying to get the uh, the, uh, the, the, the look where it's like, all right, it's daytime, it's getting night, it's time to go to bed. But uh, it smells extremely therapeutic and, and it feels like it's gonna make you go to sleep. Yes, 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 yes. My bearded brother, if you like therapeutic oils, you can actually put this in your one of your diffusers at nighttime. It does help me sleep. All right, time for this one, which I'm absolutely in love with. And I'm glad I have another uh, bottle of oil. This this right here is their Mr. Cool. Mr. Cool with a K. This scent is absolutely beautiful. It's coconut, pineapple, citrus, and vanilla. And he has some awesome ingredients in this one as well. He has Jamaican black castor oil, uh, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, as well as jojoba oil. This scent is invigorating. Oh, it smells so delightful. Um, it's definitely a, uh, uh, um, I would say a seasonal scent, but I'm telling you, my bearded brothers, it's not the season, and I'm rocking it in this beard right now. I'm rocking actually the oil as well as their butter. Woo! This one right here happens to be their best seller. This is called the El Caballero. I got skills, don't worry, I got skills. This one is their best seller, their El Caballero. Um, it is fantastic. It is a, a, com a combination scent of tobacco, bourbon, and leather. He's working with awesome ingredients as well. Grapeseed oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, as well as argan oil. I enjoy smelling this manly scent right here. Ah. <sighs> That is so delightful. That is so delightful. One of my favorite scents from beer drinks. If you're a huge lover of, of tobacco scents or bourbon and leather, perfectly balanced where one's not powerful than the other. Not only this scent, but this company is for you. When I smell it, I smell the bourbon first. And then you smell the tobacco and the lingering leather in the background. Now for the newest scent on the roster. Bam, Mr. T. I actually had this in my possession before it came out, but I wanted to do a special unboxing for this awesome company. Their newest one here, Mr. T. This has awesome um, um, carry oils. Uh, rose hip oil, hemp seed oil, uh, grape seed oil, as well as jojoba oil. It's a combination scent of green tea, uh, pink grapefruit, and lemon. I'm so excited to smell this. I'm so excited. Just slow it down, just slow it down. Oh my goodness, bro, beer gents. Like, you, you're blowing my mind here, man, with these scents that you just come out with, and it's just perfect. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was a little nervous when I saw green tea. I thought it was gonna be, the green tea was gonna be a little too powerful for me. 
but you do literally smell all three of these combinations. I feel like I smell the grapefruit a little more, and then the green, uh, the green tea, and then the lingering scent of the lemon to just top it off to give it that 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 sweet balance. God, I can't wait till this company comes out with all their butters and all the scents because I literally like all of them, man. It's awesome. Loving what this company is doing as far as every time it comes out with a new oil, it's different ingredients in there. It's never the same thing. It keeps you guessing as well as your beard. Well, that was my unboxing, my bearded brothers. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, definitely check these guys out on Instagram. Definitely check out their website as well. But like I said before, this company prides himself on using premium great ingredients from the bearded brothers out there to make you and your beard feel phenomenal. But that's all I have for you, my bearded brothers, my brothers, right into the beard. Thank you for rocking with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. Follow me on Instagram. And I'm out of here. I'm gonna end it with a fistful of oil.